Alright, looks like there's one more thing I missed that I actually surprisingly forgot about. Yes, 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 yes. I know. <sighs> Need to go here this time. I'm like not going to room what's gonna haunt me. <laughs> I made something pretty big. <laughs> ah, so, yeah, Chica's feeding frenzy. They made this playable now. They finished it. Shoot, boost. Yeah, I don't really don't get, get the point is shoot. <laughs> Boots with it's just all right stick. Alright. Boots. So I got that figure they made uh yeah, they finally finished Chica, Chica's fin feeding frenzy. Ah, gum. Alright, what do we do? Arrows, arrows, arrows. Dangerous. Ah! Son of a bitch. Spawned right on top of me. Hmm. I don't. What's it? Let's see, they're running for me. It's like a pac mana grid. Great, that's a shotgun. <laughs> she <laughs> I got a damn she just got a damn shotgun. Uh. Or he had a shotgun. <laughs> Range enemies. Uh, wait, that's a Vanessa. I just realized. <laughs> it's pretty much Vanessa. Look at the sprite. Why are those sprites, kids? Uh, 
destroy that Vanessa. Another one's fun. Ah! The spying hazards everywhere. for another boss this is a little bit harder oh no ah A beggar, though, <laughs> the song. Got that. Whoa, this is below. It's a oh, it's become a bullet hell. Become bullet hell. Bullet hell. Bullet hell. Oh shit. So many Vanessas. This goes on for... Oh man, spun right on top. Oh man, I'm really dead. Really dead. Really dead. Oh. Ah oh, man, nearly died there. <laughs> It's so hard to hit them, because they're so tiny. So tiny, it's a hard hit. Is there like only like 15 waves or something? It's damn. That should be like the boss. Oh, 
Holy shit. I need these of the I swear. Fucking hell. I gotta restart from scratch? Well, shit. Uh, so far, my only big problem with this is that the enemies are so microscopically tiny, it's so hard to hit anything. It's hard to hit anything with this. Anything because they're so tiny. That's my only major problem with this.
Yeah, I'm pretty much back to where my mother where it was, so. Uh, hopefully 20 is the limit. And I fucked up. God damn it, outskirt spawners! <laughs> Those tiny ass finesses are so hard to hit. Can't fucking hit them! They're so tiny! Seriously, just... Ugh. Oh, this boss design is not a good idea because it hurts my eyes. Fucking yes, I did it. I did it. Holy hell. I did it. What's going on? Uh, bloody did it. Game one. Oh, man. That, uh, that is not, it's not really good for your eyes. I gotta say that much. My eyes are more than fine. But right, there we go. <laughs> Beat for your feeding frenzy, and she gets worse. Looks like a speaker box. Ah. So there. Really doing this? Ugh. Yep. Ew. Gross. Yeah. That should 
Das war's schon jetzt, Chica. Und sie sagt, ja, sie sind da. The little born singer preparing her voice box. Guess that's the last thing I do, though. Oh, that's probably gonna be a bonus episode myself, I guess. After all that, <laughs> preparing like a cheeky voice box during the cleaning frenzy, I think. For sure that it has to be like uh, the last thing, I should say. I guess like you know, this will be like a bonus episode. I guess this will be a bonus episode because Chica's cleaning frenzy really took me a while. Almost like 20 minutes. Damn, it's quite a long time. <laughs> 20 minutes to do. Uh, do. I'll just refer to you go. In a way, yeah, satisfying. In a way, you do. You do get get to help out, Chica. <laughs> and I fucking knew that. Uh, <laughs> I knew that door would fucking haunt me somehow. I missed something. I missed something pretty fucking massive because I took one step to trigger an event. I should just die to Chica by then. I just don't want to get in the door, but eh, at least I got into it now. <laughs> So I wonder if there's any more kind of hidden secrets in here because I pretty much almost discovered most of them just on my first playthrough, surprisingly. <laughs> like the Bonnie one, I didn't get surprised to get in all the wet floor signs uh, unlocks the Bonnie secret area, which I did not know. Hmm. Did not know. <laughs> but hey, I got it anyway, so. <laughs> there's that. And also the interesting is like a glitch trap. It's not actually a really glitch trap. At least so I think. But it's actually the security measures or the end like entity that's the main thing that's like, to pre prevent them maybe from escaping. Of course I know that from the end, but I swear though, it just looks too much like glitch trap. Too coincidentally too much like glitch trap. At turn certain times it has a purple hue, it shows up when you wear the vanny mask. It has the appearance of a bunny. Has that? They both have that same, that same creepy smile. Even with the same, same kind of key black effects, <laughs> they both use. And in both ways, they take over your mind. In many ways, that just has to be glitch trap. In all honesty, because there's just too many. There's just too many check marks to define it as glitch trap. Too many check marks to be anything else. It's just too many check marks. <laughs> like, how can that not be glitch trap as a thing? Like, if it really is not glitch trap, then that has to be glitch trap as in some capacity. Maybe a more purified, different version of the glitch uh, of the, of the glitch trap virus, perhaps. But, no, anyways, um, I may want to make the reveal on my own, but, I don't want to try to kind of dwell, but, did the Chica voice box, uh, path, that's pretty much one of the last things I do, like, probably do so, uh, so far, maybe unless there's other big things that, uh, that I'm missing. My God, I think that's the last, last thing, but, uh, I don't know. Guess we'll see soon enough. But yet also, hmm. there's also many other secrets I would like it on, like, like to figure out. 
Like for instance, like a log ride and this whole thing, just we discovered that Foxy was originally a uh, part of the plan. Makes me wonder what happened to Foxy, really. Hmm. Like, we're slowly starting on the red wafer to unravel the mystery and what happened to Bonnie. I think it's pretty clear, open and shut, that Monty did not destroy uh, Bonnie. And it's more or less uh, Vandy that does something going for us, something more sinister like the mim Mimic. <laughs> but I wonder also what happened. What happened to Foxy, really? What happened to Foxy? That's a question I have. Really. And also regarding also another thing is uh, where... As it turns out, maybe the... The princess quest ending is actually the canon ending. While... I still think that's not really the case. I still think the princess quest ending being... The canon ending is not the case. And the after ending is still... The two star ending is still the canon ending where that is followed up to. For I think it's that way for for one singular reason. The Freddy we encounter in uh in Phaser Blast. Hmm. The Freddy we encounter in Phaser Blast as you see on his foot is marked as a prototype. So already that's a main indicator that that's not our Freddy. And if you want more proof of that, he's facing downwards in the position, whereas in the, in the three star ending, the Princess Quest ending, he's facing more, his body's facing more upwards towards the ceiling, <laughs> not downwards. And lastly, the gift box inside him is still there. The gift box inside him is still there. Whereas, as we know, that like the literally in the beginning of the game, I don't we hear took anything. it out. <laughs> I hope I'm not too late. Just trying to get the thing. Same thing if I already, haven't already got it. So those are like the main three reasons that I think, like Freddy's the whole center main priority reason that uh, <laughs> that the first quest ending isn't canon. It's just because of that. Sure, he may be headless, but I was approved like multiple times, it's not our Freddy. <laughs> it's clearly not our Freddy. Monty? Hmm. It's just a pity what happened to Monty. A pity what happened to him. Oh, no pity. <laughs> Monty deserved better. He deserved better. That's for sure. I'll leave that there, but... On the subject again... Of the Princess Quest ending... Yeah, Freddy's the, like, the main reason why. I think it's pretty obvious that's not the canon ending. But, however... However... I did think... Vanessa did still got freed in some capacity. And that's probably the main reason why we don't see Vanny at all. In the DLC. Is that. In some capacity. The three star ending did happen. But it wasn't Freddy or Gregory. That held uh, free Vanessa. Instead I think. It was the, uh, the entity or whatever the program is called you know, the stats about the mimic i think that or, i think that played a role into uh into freeing vanessa and plus we know for uh we know for a fact as a certain that the the princess in princess quest is cassidy 100 <laughs> percent. we know that for certain from the files like, there is no going, there's no doubling back, there's no hiding it. We know for certain that, that the princess in, in Princess Quest is Cassidy. And we see the symbolism, especially since the old man in Princess Quest is, um, like, 
could easily draw to the conclusion that the old man consequences. So basically, the entity I would, I would call it, or like, a good glitch trap, I have to say, anti hero glitch trap, I don't know. I'll just call it the entity, as what, that's what Hopi calls it. The entity, uh, helps out Cassidy to put down Glitch Trap for good. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe put down Glitch Trap for good, because you never know if it could probably come back. While in the process, saving Vanessa. I th and that still has like the, like, as we know that first thing that happens, because, and, and I draw that connection, like, from the ent entity, uh, Free, but like if it helped Cassie to free Vanessa, get rid of Ghost Trap. It's because like, when we like slide into the Princess Quest 3 room, you do see uh, the entity pop up like immediately, uh, immediately there, indicating that some sort of special connection. Or, and of course, when you see the machine, like the, the arcade machine, you see the, the sword right there. You see the sword right there on the Stab through machine. <laughs> Indicating that something's happened, of course. And that's why I at least draw that conclusion. At the very least. And also I have a unique uh, thing about the... What I would say, like the troll ending, or what people say is a Fredbear ending. With, like with Gregory and Vanessa. Also, like the five kids uh, missing, missing children, just in, in there as well. The blue ones I didn't notice in the background. Also, just so happened to notice, like a uh, notice that. I would think that it's probably since our afterlife, and would that be confirmation that Gregory and Vanessa died in this uh, during the collapse? It's rough, but I haven't seen like the. The five balloons there, the, like the the five like, that's all that's easily synonymous with the missing kids, because uh, the first uh, missing children's incident, and not to mention that that spot in general, that hill, that tree, that's always shown in more or less as the afterlife of like from that perhaps like some sort of passing on. And with that, does that indicate that, in reality, did Gregory and Venice have died? It would seem to imply that, really. Like, the missing, like, the MCI, like, uh, would seem to imply that. And the ending of Ruin, like, uh, perhaps I'll say the main ending, where Gregory kind of saves us but it will kind of make sense of like why we'd help us out and get through it anyway but at the same time stop us from going like from leaving <laughs> escaping like why would he help help us escape in the first place if he was just gonna kill us anyway so that didn't quite make sense to me but having the mimic like having gregory like always be dead as well as vanessa while the mimic was always just mimicking gregory like the entire the way through. It makes sense. It makes sense, really. That's a that's my little theory talk at the very fucking least. So there's a lot to learn with ruin. There's a lot to learn with ruin. There's a lot to discover. Just like with security breaches, even though there it looks like there's not much on the surface or even in the deep, but in reality. It's a huge gold mine that's just way to be dug out. Ruin is... Just like security breaches. Like, ru Ruin and security breaches, they have a lot to offer. And, like, there's a lot to, lot to discover. In terms of lore and what the, what the theorize about. Try to figure out the lore, essentially. Essentially. <laughs> it's complex anyway, since it's FNAF. But that's what makes FNAF so unique with its lore. It's just a constant mystery of trying to figure it out, and that's what makes going to FNAF and figuring it out so special. 
Even though it's complex, it's a good kind of complex that gets you coming back to try and figure out the story. That's why when when you think or would say it's a downside, but in reality it's more of an upside. Even though it does get confusing at times. Sometimes O2 are very complicated. Like at first in Security Breach with the Regbot theory and the whole entire Abdon family apparently returning. <laughs> in the form of Gregory, like a Vanessa. <laughs> For some reason, Freddy is Michael Afton. It's, that's a little bit too far to my taste, but... Regardless of the ruin, like, ruin, skewer breach, and, and like, the, the kind of love for FNAF, it's a, it's a boon to it. I'm just wondering what, what more can we learn about it? What more can we dig at it? I wonder if there's any more secrets to ruin, but... I guess we'll find out in time, in time, really. We'll find out in time. Or if there's like some sort of update. <laughs> I would still hope for at least... If there's not going to be like any more kind of store DLC for Security Breach. I would at least hope that would be... We'll cross my fingers at the very least. Hope. <laughs> hope that survival mode comes in for Security Breach. Maybe both like the... Like... Both like the Pizza Plex and its Prime and a Ruinified. Plus, I would give it time for Vanity to shine, I guess. <laughs> give it time to, for Vanity to shine again, like, finally in Security Breach in Survival Mode. And maybe have, like, a whole bunch of different stuff, but that's enough. Uh, that uh, we'll probably have to wait for, but... I guess we'll find out with time, so... Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Bye-bye.